Hey folks, Malforan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be carrying on our campaign as Rome in Old World, continuing our adventures uh, in the game. But uh, I just wanted to say, uh, after the last episode, I've given it a little bit of thought about what we're going to do for the rest of the uh, the campaign. We're, we're in year 67 of 200. Um, so we've kind of talked about it a little bit, building up our armies, and then I never get around to actually doing it. And then we did actually get around to doing it last episode. And... Um, heading down here so what we're going to do is we're going to come down we're going to take out these two gaul uh settlements here and then we're just going to build up our army and attack the haddy and just see how we do um it might go horribly for us but um i really wanted this campaign just to kind of show off the game if you're interested about buying it or just kind of wanted to see what the gameplay was like because it is a little bit different to most grand strategy games um i wanted the campaign just to kind of show off the game and see uh you know how it ran and and all the systems and stuff like that are in the game and i think we've done that quite well so far and um so i kind of want to end the the campaign on just attacking the haddy and we'll either lose or we'll win and we'll kind of take over the island but whichever one of those two things happened uh that is where we're going to end the campaign in uh, in old world for now so uh, yeah we're just going to get straight into it we're still getting our ship built here our byream i want to bring that down here and then we can come down and attack the gauls Actually, do you know what? I'm actually going to move this one because we should actually check whether the Gauls are actually still here because <laughs> there is a chance they got destroyed and we just haven't been down there to actually see whether they have or not. So uh, we'll, we'll do that first and then we'll um, we'll see what's going to happen next. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the plan. We'll, we'll take out the Gauls just because we don't want Carthage or Persia taking those cities and then we're going to um, attack the Hadi or defend if the Hadi attack us first. And just see how well we do and uh, kind of see how well we can do in combat so um yeah that that is the plan uh, we've got our settler here we're gonna bring him down here we're gonna keep him on this side though until we've taken out uh this camp here and then we will um we'll uh, we'll head down and settle this right let's just check whether it still exists it does oh it's actually under attack by carthage as we speak so uh, yeah let's hang out here and just keep an eye on this because obviously if they take this one then we'll just head down here and we'll take that one i just want to have like a little kind of settlement uh a colony on another island so uh, we'll see how well that works out for us right let's uh let's get this mine on gems i think yes that gives us some more gems oh actually we should check do we have any of these free i think we got grapes didn't we let's have a look uh, manage luxuries. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. Oh, no, we looked last time, didn't we? Uh, I think we, you need to have an excess of them. So we have grapes from here. We have a grove. But I guess we don't have... Oh, I know what it is. We won't have a worker in it. Yeah, okay, we'll queue that up next. So then we'll we'll get the um, we'll get the wine from there. Or grapes. I, I'll keep calling them grapes because it's a picture of grapes <laughs> instead of a picture of wine. I'm not sure why. But, um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this. And then we'll be able to trade those, well, gift them to the Fabius family, and then they're going to like us a little bit more. We'll also settle this settlement as a Fabius settlement, and then that'll also make them like us a little bit more. Because they're currently the house with the least amount of settlement, so they're not uh, they're not enamored with us for that reason. And yeah, we're just going to all chill down here until, um, until our ship's ready, which should be next turn. Yep, so we should be able to cross over next turn, and we'll take out this... Uh, this settlement here if we can do actually it looks like carthage just kind of sat there um chilling and keeping an eye on it to be honest yeah see they're coming around here i think <laughs> i do think the haddy are probably going to attack us but we'll see anyway we're known as amelia the able oh, our father died and porcia the younger at 41 also died okay right where is our byream here it is so we should be able to go here and then anchor and then if we move here and anchor we should i think if i've done this right be able to cross over quite anchored ship yeah these two <laughs> is that not close enough oh does this need to be one further this way well that's annoying well let's use the replay last turn button oh is it not gonna work no there we go oh it actually replays their turn as well interesting so yeah that's the first time we've used that button but uh, yeah, I wanted. To... Oh, is it not going to help us anyway? <laughs> oh, it's not going to help us anyway because I'd already pressed anchor. I guess I'd set it up to already do it. Wait, no, because it's. 
Oh, this just shows you what happened over the last turn. Oh, I thought this allowed you to, like, replay the last turn. I I didn't realize it literally just means replay the last turn, so you just see what everyone did last turn. I thought this allowed you to kind of, like, rewind time by a year and uh, redo your moves. Well, in that case, no. I think I said that in the first episode, so, uh, yeah, apologies. <laughs> That's what I presumed it meant. Replay the actions over the last turn. I thought it meant you could replay as in make different decisions, but no, it just means show me what happened in the last turn. Well, I guess we're going to delay this for another turn then, because <laughs> I can't line things up good. Oh, we can build the uh, the lighthouse here. Now we need 300 iron, 600 stone. We've got a lot of money. We've nearly got enough stone. In fact, do we? how much have we got? No, there's no way we get enough iron. Oh, no, no. No, wait. It's 300. Uh, we probably could then. Yes, we could. Come on, let's build it. Why not? We're going to have all the wonders. <laughs> we'll have two wonders here, and then where's the other one? I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's here, I think. Yeah, the Great Signal. Yeah, you guys are all going to wait around for another year. Apologies for that. Yeah, I guess this border isn't actually overlapping with a bit of land, so... Yeah, we need to move in one step here and then do it again. It's kind of funny, like Rome and Hadi equal score, and then Carthage and Persia also equal score. We're now known as Amelia the Keystone. Oh. By the title, uh, what do we get this for? Oh, because we finished so many improvements. Okay. Nice. Babylonia has become, begun the construction of the Colossus. Uh, that's these guys, isn't it? Yep. And then we've discovered husbandry, so we can finally start kind of uh, building uh, things for all those animals that we have in our lands. So we can do cartography. 17 years, that's a long time. So let's get trapping. It's only two years. Let's get that finished. So Picia, the governor of Rome, is a court merchant now. Okay. You can upgrade it to a pathfinder. As governor, camps and nets gain 100% output. Oh, that's going to be great for us. Because Rome... That's what, one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five nets. So that would make it ten nets, basically. And uh, the other bonuses as well. But yeah, no, we'll definitely upgrade her as that. Uh, we've got a character marriage. Oh, we don't care about that. Think about this. Actually, do you know what? I've actually... Oh, here we go. Yeah, the, the decision has stayed here. That's pretty good, actually. As governor camps... Yeah, no, we'll definitely do this. The nets are just a crazy ad addition. Ooh, war demand. The sudden arrival of envoys from Persia causes disorder in the court. Their ruler, Karazanism, Karan Karanazim, <laughs> demands that we take up arms against Carthage. This is not a decision. We're, we're, we're allied with Carthage, so... I mean, we probably don't want to do that. Let's wait and see. Uh, oh, yeah, because they're currently at war with each other. Yeah, I'm going to say no. I, I, we, we, we don't want to, um, you know, go against Carthage. They're our only full ally, so... Yeah, we don't want to do that, really. Uh, one day at the training ground, Servius notices a lame mongrel begging for scraps. He takes the creature into his care and nurses him back to health. From that point on, the creature has never left Servius' side. The dog possesses a complete devotion to Servius, who turns to you for guidance on how best to raise the pup. What training would you suggest? You can make him become compassionate. Or strict. Oh, no, I clicked it. I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> I guess he's becoming strict. <laughs> uh, now that the Duchess has completed her studies in commerce, how should she contribute to the court? So if we can make her an orator or a builder. Oh, we can't make her a builder. So uh, orator it is. And there we go. Yeah, that's that, my bad. I <laughs> totally misclicked that, but uh, there you go. Right, if we anchor here, I'm guessing we now can cross this. Requires anchored ship. Oh, does it take a turn to anchor? Oh, do you know what? That's probably what it was. <laughs> we just didn't wait the amount of turns. Well, anyway. Okay, next time definitely will work. <laughs> Guys, I swear I do know kind of how to play this game. <laughs> just just not enough to do it right every time. Right, let's make one of these guys a fisher. Yeah, you guys, sorry. You're going to have to stick around a little bit longer. Uh, let's get all these mines and stuff like that finished. Is it a mine? Yes, a mine. There we go. Get this quarry. I mean, we'll, we'll just build these quarries because why not? Oh, we actually could have built um, 
the uh, the pasture on these guys, I guess. We'll do that next time. So yeah, we can now get these sheep, which we couldn't do before. Yep, you're all just chilling. I swear I know how to play the game, guys. Don't just don't uh, don't think about it too much. But uh, yeah, so next turn we'll go. Next turn we'll go for sure. This time. Oh, actually, what we should do is where's our heir? Is she married to anyone? We we should check that. We should probably get her married to someone. I think we did. I can't remember though. We'll check after this. Uh, the oligarch of um, uh, this house has died. Julius family, there we go. So a uh, Titus the Foolish, your relative, is now head of the Julius family. Tactics studies. Now that Servius has completed his study of tactics, how should he contribute to the court? So we can have him as a commander or a tactician. Do you want us to make him a tactician this time? Princess Agrippina? Has grown up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate her? She's our heir, so um, what are we? We're a commander. You know Let's go for something a little bit different. Let's go with... Uh, we taught her in commerce, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. So let's carry on with that. Right, let's see. Can we actually cross here now? Yes. There we go. We know how to do things. <laughs> And then as you can see, it works very different to other games. You just kind of use these as a, as a bridge to cross over. Kind of makes sense. It saves you having to kind of manually load things onto ships, move the ships. And to be honest, in this kind of era of time, it's not like um, these ships went on like crazy journeys um, with massive armies in there. They generally hugged the coast and kind of moved up a little bit. They didn't like cross massive areas. Um, Obviously, the Mediterranean, probably the best known for these kind of ships and things like that. But even then, you didn't, like, cross, you know, from Italy to Africa in a straight line. Because the center of the Mediterranean, especially in this time frame, uh, you didn't want to go there unless you had to. Like, you could cross it in these kind of ships, but you didn't want to if you, if you could avoid it. So generally, they kind of sailed, like, to where the future Byzantine lands would be and then kind of go down and round to Africa rather than, like, a straight line. Because, uh, yeah just too treacherous to do it otherwise oh we don't want these guys to actually sneak past oh they can't yeah use um force march because i don't want them to come here and and like steal this camp we'll encircle it so they can't do that there we go uh well, you guys actually let's scout this way and head towards the second um city these three will be able to defeat this easily uh, we just got a uh, military unit here. Uh, promote them. Okay. Uh, steadfast, why not? Nah, I'm not going to pay for another promotion. And then, uh, actually, one of them needs to come down here and fortify in um, Araminium, but we'll do that next time. You got, Oh, you need to heal. Oh, you can't? Must be in friendly territory. Oh, you're just not. Good point. There we go. Yeah, and then this settler will bring him down to... Oh, we don't have enough moves. Okay. Guess you'll go here. <laughs> and then we'll we'll cross him over next time. And there we go. Oh, we were going to check if our heir's married. Right, we'll do that next turn, I swear. And then we've nearly got 20 um, specialists as well for our ambition. In fact, we're building another one in Araminium. We've got the gardener going. So we just need one more, and then we'll be done. Not sure if we actually have one getting built somewhere else. Uh, can we see? Oh yeah, no, a fisherman. Yeah, okay, we got plenty again done. So we can get a boost for food. It's not really worth us doing that. We can do drama, which gives us music for the game itself. And then Odeon, which gives us plus three culture a year. That's not too bad at all, actually. Military drill, rally troops. And then barracks. This does an event. Or spoked wheel gives us the chancellor um, speciality. And chariots. So let's do this one because we haven't got the Chancellor. Is that this one? Yes. So wisdom increases growth per city, charisma increases civics, courage increases training, and discipline increases money. And then there are requirements, but uh, we should have somebody who fits those requirements, I would think. Right, let's uh, let's destroy this uh, outpost. 
Rebel Gladiators, the core of defeated Gaelic forces, is made up of escaped gladiators, highly trained slaves, and former soldiers. King Comios is the gladiator's leader, and while vulgar, he knows power when he sees it. He bows to the throne. Let us fight for you. Oh, wait, was the other one destroyed then? Is this the last of them? Very well, your swords are ours. So we gain one warrior. Hmm. And we gain some charisma. You are more valuable as labor. We just make them into citizens. And we unlock four border tiles in Aquincum. So at least should not be wasted. We can make him a courtier. <laughs> we can basically just make him a court soldier. He went from being king of the Gauls to just being a dude in our court. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do this one. We don't really need the warrior. So I'm going to do this one. Gives us two citizens and some border movement in uh, Aquiricum, which is here. So we kind of moved our borders out, gained two citizens, which is quite a lot, to be honest. And then, yeah, I wonder if this Gaulish site here that is gone. The fool on a hilltop, dressed in a patchwork of rags and stockings, stands a curious figure calling himself Pikeface. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> the self-proclaimed fool, buffoon, and bungler hails from the distant lands of Babylonia, which he recently departed in search of work abroad. Your scouts seem unsure about this unusual character, that they find his escapades delightful. Oh, so we met the, uh, the Babylonians finally, like officially met them. Bring Pieface to the palace for our amusement. I kind of want to do that. I want Pieface. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Pieface has joined the court. Seems like a bad idea, but let's just do it. Oh, no, no, the Gauls are still here. Okay, that's kind of weird they were talking about them as if they were gone, but... I mean, what can you do, I guess? Right, so we'll leave one unit here defending. Are oh, you moved? And then these three will come over and we'll be able to take this out pretty easily. Oh, no, wait, no, we needed you back here. Oh, no, I messed that up. <laughs> I forgot we hadn't moved the uh, the settler over. Well, okay, you're going to have to chill over there a little bit longer. we got the Festival 3 finished. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, well... I was talking about building some units, wasn't I? So, you know, let's get some spearmen going. Legacy of Romulus. The legacy of King Romulus the Great still resonates through the Roman world. His name is used as an example of ideal rule, and he remains the subject of many tales, songs, and plays. How does a queen live up to such a great legacy? The question returns as you find yourself facing yet another application to erect a statue of this historic ruler. We should gather the very best... Ooh, control five elder specialists. So I think that means you have to upgrade the current specialist to like the next tier of them. All roads should leave to Roma. Ambition, control nine connected cities. I'll find my own path. Sure, we, all roads do lead to Rome, so let's do that one. So now we... Oh, we got six out of nine already, actually. I guess that's because um, most of them are, are on the coast. So I think they're automatically connected. If you have a coastline, I believe, or you have to have, like, the first tier of buildings or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do us quite well. And then we do have some roads around. In fact, we should probably just build a worker and then just have them um, just building roads between our cities. Actually, we'll, we'll just do that with the next one that gets freed up. Well, there you go. This one freed up right now. Stronghold, don't care about that. Actually, no, we'll do this camp first. And then we'll, uh, we'll do the roads... Was it wanted to build a pasture? Yeah, let's do it. Yep, you're just chilling here, just in case these guys come after us. Because, like, like you can see, they've got a lot of units on our border. We don't really want to be uh, kind of waiting around uh, without any units about. So, yeah, you can stay there. Again, you can. I don't know why this is green underneath it. Is that just showing where they spawn? It's a bit weird. I don't know what that means. Oh well. We'll figure it out in the future. Oh, the Shrine of Mars is there. I wonder if that's why. Right, we'll fortify you there. Yeah, you're, you're sorry, dude. You've got to stay there again. Oh, yeah, right. Let's actually remember to do this this time. So... Oh, we can tutor the child. So let's get Marcia tutoring her. I guess she is... Um, betrothed to somebody, because we don't have the option here to betroth her to somebody else. So I guess she must be. Well, it doesn't say she is.
Um, yeah, I would have thought the option would be there for us to just do it, but I guess not. We'll see, anyway. I'm sure we'll get told about it. Uh, in the future. Actually, let's change this back to uh, this screen. No, we'll have it on this so we can see the main characters that we have. Yeah, you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna kill our ship. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. The import and export business. Olgok Titus the Foolish strides into your chambers late one evening, his cloak waving behind him. I've simply heard the best news. You are familiar with Bononia? Well, yes, it's part of our realm. Uh, well, the city has been growing like grass, and they're looking to expand their industries. I thought I'd clue you in and see if you wanted to invest in one of our little ventures. As he lays out the details of the various operations, you've decided to support which operation. Um, so we can do um, some horses and military grounds, which gives us... Oh, actually gives us horses, which I guess aren't there currently. I support the import and development of lavender. So we can spend money and get lavender in this city. Or I love the idea of crabs. But I'd have to do it on credit. <laughs> oh, so if you have no money, you can basically do this one, get crabs, and then he has a favour of us. We'll do this one, because I don't think we have lavender anywhere, so we'll do that. Roman education. As valuable as tutors are in Roman society, it is ultimately the duty of the parents to oversee their child's education. In addition to the basics of business and domestic skills, it is important to teach the moral and civil responsibilities that make a good citizen of Rome. Agrippina has quickly mastered everything that can be taught of her and asked more. Uh, so we can make her uh, have additional wisdom through historical knowledge. Encourage her to spend more time training. Uh, she's a she is a um, commerce character, so I think we'll do this one because although it's not commerce related directly, it's going to help us with science in the future when she takes over. Uh, you're going to chill there still because we. Um, Okay, we've got to move the ship back. And then anchor, and then next turn we'll be able to move that cellar. Oh, got an eligible uh, governor now for here, so... Idle characters, not you, because you're bad. Maybe this guy? King Cons... Oh, it's our, our husband. Oh, he's cruel, though. So let's go with this guy. Clodia the, De the Delver. Some nice buffs. The only thing she loses is a little bit, little bit of gold, and we have plenty of gold. So we'll put her in charge of uh, of this city, and then we'll also get her building this one up. There we go. Actually, let's check all our cities. Yeah, you've got a governor. We haven't done this for a while. Oh, no, no, you don't have any eligible characters. Neither do you. We have no one free in the Julius family, basically. We've already got one. You have eligible people. And I think we're going to choose Rhea the Cunning, I guess. 13 gold, 2.8 civics. Oh yeah, we don't want to lose all this growth, so it's probably the best one. Yeah, there's no negatives. We'll just choose that one for, the, for here. And then let's check these last ones. Yeah, you don't have anyone eligible. And Rome already has someone. Yes, there we go. Just got to remember to keep checking those every so often, just to make sure we have... Uh, obviously, the houses might get a free uh, have a have a court member free up for whatever reason, and then we want to make sure they're obviously doing something useful. Get this grove going here. On a buy tile. Oh, we can buy it from this from Bononia and give it to these guys. Well, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we just want to build the um, the grove. Is it? So we to build. Oh, a farm. There we go. Oh, they've actually got quite a few units. Wow, we're going to have some fun. Are these spearmen? Javeliers. Okay. I don't think they'll do much damage to our... Uh, if they were spearmen, I guess they might have hurt our um, chariot here, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you as well? Joe, you, um, no, we'll, we'll, we'll leave him here. Why not? Actually, I kind of want to bring him home. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll wait till next turn. We might actually bring some of these home, because... These two towns should be safe in the future because there's no one else we're attacking down here. Even if the Gauls have some more cities, we've got like one um, one unit in both. That'll be enough to defend them. And then we want to get everyone back over here for like I say, when we do eventually attack the Hattie. Promote you again? Okay, let's go with... Um, 
Oh, a guard. Ranger? Damage from trees? I mean, there are quite a few trees around here. Yeah, go on, why not? Next unit. In fact, we might spend some of this, because we might as well use it on some upgrades, I suppose, rather than just having it stockpile up. We don't need this much for building new units, so uh, we might do that next turn. Oh yeah, we still have the salt we can trade. Um, maybe we could trade it with... Oh, wow, Persia hates it. Babylon? What if Babylon wants some salt? We'll see after this. There we go, we finished our uh, ambition. Ancient temple. During the construction in aluminium, laborers unearthed an aged temple beneath the site. All work pauses until a decision is made of what to do. Send devotees to tend it, gain an acolyte. Oh, so we gain someone who can spread religion. We also become blessed or cursed. Tear it apart, the building materials. We don't need the building materials, so let's do this. Oh, we became cursed. Nobody knows whether the curses are real, but the misfortune some people attract definitely is. Where uh, Whatever comes next will likely not be pleasant. Oh, so I guess we're going to follow up the event. One of your families is angry with you. Family opinions influenced by discontent. Yeah, Fabius. Don't like us at all. Because, uh, yeah, no counsellors. They're discontent. Right, we really need to send them some stuff. Angry champions. Families have family classes that determine which laws, luxuries, and other conditions keep them happy. If Fabio are angry with you, they are champions. So they like to fight. Their opinion of you will improve if, they, if you have the largest military of all the families. Likewise, they will feel insulted if you're given the fewest military units. Oh, so we need to build more units in Fabi uh, cities. I forgot about that, if I'm honest. I totally forgot the units. Um, I know you got bonuses if you built them. Like in Fabius cities, we start with a, an upgrade immediately. But I totally forgot the units actually stay connected to the city that they built. So these ones are... Um, Claudius? Yeah, these are Claudius Spearman. These are Julius Spearman. And then these are uh, Claudius um, Chariot. So yeah, we need to build more Fabius units, I guess. Yeah, actually, we have we don't have any Fabius units, I don't think. Or not very many, anyway. Right, let's get this um, settler down here. And then we're just going to settle right here. We'll settle as a Fabius one as well. That should increase this upset. Yeah, it's only, down, it's only minus 28 now, which is substantially better. Uh, we'll put you as... Is it like a defensive one? Eh, we'll do combat one. Yeah, that's fine. Right, you will heal, and then we're going to send them back over the uh, the straight here. Uh, yeah, let's just get into... Um, yeah, actually, let's wipe out this unit first, if we can. Ah, oh, no, we just can't. They're just going to survive. Well, doesn't matter. And then we'll go here. There's not many resources here at all. Yeah, in fact, you only have, what, one, two? Once this dies? Crabs. Okay, not too bad. They've got dies and crabs. I don't think we have dies anywhere else actually so oh that is also what the fabius house like so we'll uh, we'll definitely pick those up if we can yeah i just want you to fortify to be honest yeah put you on sentry same with you guys uh okay you're full health well, they love us for some reason why have they got this heart above them Guess that means they're like super loyal? I'm, I'm not sure. Hasn't actually told us. Oh no, they're healed. That's why. They're just healed to full health. Oh yeah, they're actually... Okay, yeah, we can't move them to next turn because of, because of that. We just finished our spearman here. So I think we might just build another one. Um, Maybe... No, do you know what? Let's get, uh, let's get this miner, farmer, and then we'll build a slinger because we don't have any slingers. And then here they've got... Oh, they're nearly going to hit the next level of discontent. So let's go with... Is it festival? Yeah, festival. And then that'll lower that a little bit. This is the new one we just took over. So I think we'll go with, yeah, city walls. And then a worker. We'll just queue them up for the future. You just finished a festival, which did lower their discontent a little bit. Now, we actually need another settler for the other Gaul uh, village we're going to take out, but we're not going to build it up here. I think we'll go for... Do we need mining? A woodcutter, there we go. It's kind of the lowest one we've got that's uh, given us production. 
He just finished a garden. We're going to get this rancher just because we haven't got a rancher uh, upgrade, I don't think, anywhere. So I just kind of want to build one. Angry champions. Oh, we got told about this. Yep, already. Uh, yeah, I want to build that road, actually. So let's go here. And then add road. Control R. Sit uh, here. No, did I do that wrong? Oh, no, no, there we go. It is building it. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so he'll build a road here. We can move troops easier, and then there'll also be connected cities. So that'll get us to eight out of nine. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Another half an hour episode. And we've done quite a lot, quite a bit today. We got this Gaul city here. And then we obviously um, kind of set up some other stuff. We finished the ambition and got some events and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. As always, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. It helps other people find the series in the future. And if you are new here and this is your first video, subscribe. You'll get uh, a lot of other Grand Strategy, Crusader Kings kind of content in the future as well. So uh, you know what to do on YouTube. But we're going to leave it there for today. And I'll see you in the next one.